Good girl. Good girl, Grimnet. I think he's got one. Oh, hello. My name is Joseph Carter, and I am the Mink Man. When I was a senior in high school, I started learning about the American mink. I was told that mink were horrible, vicious little animals who were impossible to tame. Challenge accepted. I've been in love with mink ever since. I get mink from fur farms and give them a new life. In this new life, my mink live as naturally as possible, even hunting for their dinner the way a wild mink would. So come join me on my adventures as we learn more about this intense little predator, the amazing American mink. I'm kind of tempted to go with Saber, but I hate to use my best mink on the first hole. You never know when you're going to run into a harder one. But this, this looks tricky, so I'm going to just pull Saber out. So today we're out doing a little muskrat hunting. Got good old Saber here. We got a couple mink with us today. And I found a hole that looks like it'll be kind of tricky because of the deeper water. Saber did an awesome job last time on deep water, so I'm gonna pull him out. I hate to pull him out first go because he's he's pretty good mink, and um, I'd rather save him just in case we run into some other difficult situations. But eh, I uh, first one we found is this way. We'll just do what we can. So unfortunately, guys, you're gonna have to deal with constant, 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 constant barking for this entire video. Yes, it drives me insane far more than I'm sure it does you. But uh, let's go hunting. Another good reason to use Saber at this location is I hate hunting right next to dogs. My, do my mink are pretty dog friendly and who knows if those dogs are mink friendly. They'll probably hurt or kill my mink. Saber fortunately is quite nervous of dogs. I, I don't know why he grew up around dogs, but he is. So he's not as likely to go wander up by those dogs as my other mink are. Oh, muskrat. I'll quit chatting. The hunt has started. Did you see him? No, I didn't see it. He looked right at me and went back in. There he goes. Here's the mink. Good job, Saber. Come get the muskie. He's over here. Here, 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 here. Did he open the rocks? Okay, so he's up under the cement. Oh, there's another muskrat. Either that or it's the same one. And he came back out. So is that what the other one did? Yeah. You run up there like that. There's another one. Okay, so there are multiples. I think we got two up in this cement. Because he thinks he saw one in there. I just saw one go in there. I want to get down there and... <laughs> I just did it. So he's looking for him. Doesn't look like he's caught anything yet. I'll show you. Come here now. Now I just had to pause the video so everyone can appreciate this special moment. In all my years of filming mink hunting and fishing, I've been lucky to film several firsts, and this is one of them. What you're about to see has never been captured on film before. I think he's got one. Yeah. 
He's wrapping it up. Oh, there's one. Does he still have it or is that the one he caught? I don't know. I saw one. I think I saw a muskrat too. Yep, there's the mink with the muskrat. Change the angle of the camera. We can see it. See where the light is? Oh, there's the other mink. Good job, Saber. Good job, Saber. Good boy. Good mink. Fish. See that happy eating fish. Good boy coming in the middle of eating something. Turned well. Fully distracted. That's awesome. One had a dead muskrat, the other is eating a fish, and they both came. That's awesome. Let's see if we can reach up and, and get this musk one of the two muskrats they killed. There you go. Got it. This is the one that uh, <coughs> yellow caught. Let's see if we can find the one Saber caught. Put this over here so the mink don't grab it. Um, there's a mink right there. There's a muskrat. He's chasing the mushroom. <laughs> oh, look, here comes Red. He must have saw it. Another fish, drop it. Get attacked by the muskrat. Grab the muskrat. <laughs> Look, you can see it. Wow, that was that was a first. Holy crap! I better go get the saber. He's disappearing over the hill. We got him. I'm gonna go ahead and feed him up. 
little rabbit leg and some chicken liver long to go with it to go along with this chunk of muskrat we try and give them a good varied diet not just muskrat meat in nature they don't just hunt muskrats they hunt a lot of stuff fish birds other rodents rabbits squirrels so anyway like to mix in multiple different kinds of meat so that they're nice and healthy so let's go see if we can get that muskrat back Come here, pups. Come here. Check, 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 check. Look this hole. Look. Come then. Look. Look that hole. Good girl. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Gremlin. Bring it here. Go get the muskrat. Good girl. Man, it sucks that it's under cement. She's so close, but she just can't quite reach it. But she's a determined little dog, so hopefully she can dig in and get a hold of it and just pull it out for us. She, she seems like she's getting close because she's pretty excited, but we'll see what happens. Good girl, Grim, then get it. One hour later. Well, shall we quit? Gremlin says no, we shouldn't quit. She doesn't know the word quit. <laughs> Gremlin, come on! Good girl, come on, Gremlin! Good girl, come on, Gremlin! Yeah, that's such a good dog. Oh, that's such a good dog, yeah. Oh, good girl. Oh, good girl. Oh, that's a good dog. Oh, you've been trying hard, huh? You just can't quite fit, huh? Oh, that's a good girl, Grimmy Grim. Oh, that's such a good girl. You're trying so hard, huh? Oh, that's a good girl. Oh, good girl. You tried plenty hard. We need to go. That's a good dog. Oh, that's such a good dog. So we tried hard to get that third muskrat back. It's just stuck in there where the pup can't reach it, and I don't have a mink that'll bring it back. Um, I've got one that's kind of half trained to do it, but she needs a helper. She needs a little string on her. There's no way sending a mink under there with a string on it because we can't dig it out. All this hard cement, if she gets tangled, she's stuck. We're not going to risk losing a mink just trying to get a dead muskrat back. So it's a real shame. Gremlin tried really hard to get it out. I think she's close, but she just couldn't quite reach it. So that's an unfortunate loss. We will uh, we'll go take home the two that we got and the fish that we caught. And uh, yeah, we'll have a, a good dinner tonight. We got lots of fish to eat. So uh, thanks for watching, you guys. We'll show you more next time.